Hi, I'm Joe Dante. This is Trailers from Hell. Today's trailer is for Scared to Death, uh, often erroneously cited as Bela Lugosi's only color movie. Uh, in fact, he did a picture in the early 30s that was in color, the small part of it. By 1947, Bela Lugosi's career had slipped pretty badly. During the 40s, he'd been a star at Poverty Row Studios, Monogram, and PRC, and occasionally at his home studio, Universal. But a run of pictures like Spooks Run Wild and Zombies on Broadway weren't about to return him to the prestige that he enjoyed in the 30s. A year later, he'd star in his last studio picture, Abbott Costello Meet Frankenstein, but for now, his star billing in this nonsensical indie production would have to suffice. Scared to Death is a stagey, one-set cheapie, most of whose budget seems to have gone to shooting in Cinecolor. It's narrated by the corpse of the heroine, a very unpleasant woman, on a slab at the morgue, which we cut back to at random, accompanied by one of the worst edited music cues ever. She's afraid her dead husband, who she betrayed to the Nazis, is back to terrify her via a recurring mask, that everyone calls green, but thanks to Cinecolor's two-color process, is actually blue. They're trying to destroy my mind, by innuendo and indirection. They're trying to make me believe I've done something dreadful in the past. Perhaps I can explain, Mr. Lee. We don't believe there's anything wrong with Laura now. The movie is nearly incomprehensible, but it does have a certain surreal charm, especially when Bella arrives with Indigo, his dwarf assistant, played by Angela Rosito from Freaks, and Bella's pal and the corpse vanishes. Do not be kind to Indigo. It only offends him, says Bella. The redoubtable George Zucco is Bella's cousin, who runs a mental institution out of the few walls that constitute the set. But if not for Bella, nobody would remember this picture today at all. When the maid wants to announce him to Zucco, he demurs, If I allowed myself to be announced, I doubt I would be received anywhere. It's a terrible movie, but I love it.